Hi, welcome uh, today. Uh, doing a brief little video on knives. Um, there's been quite a lot of press recently about knife crime and uh, we do get asked a lot of questions. Maybe is it worth having a knife or not having a knife? Is it dangerous or whatever? As long as you've got a bona fide reason for carrying that knife, it's in your dive bag or it's maybe in your kayaking bag or on your beast, on your buoyancy aid. But when you actually go out in the water, you've got a bona fide reason for carrying that knife. This is different from walking into a pub carrying a knife. We normally get two different versions. Um, you'll get a blunt knife and you'll get a pointed knife. I would always try and recommend a blunt knife because if you are uh, going to someone's aid, it's just a little bit safer and they're less chance of getting freaked out. But if you go with a blunt knife, always make sure it's got a line cutter on it, serrated edge and a sharp bit. Um, also something else to be aware of, if you are buying a knife, if you do store it away for any real length of time, just be aware some knives can rust. So maybe look on, maybe on a monthly basis, just have a look at the knife, maybe get it out, maybe get it sharpened, maybe treat it with some oil just to stop it from rusting and just the last thing you want is to invest some money in a bit of kit, not look after it and then have to throw it away. Also, when you're looking at buying a knife, look at the size of the knife and where you're gonna position it on your body. Some divers like to have a larger knife and position it on their ankles, but also have a second knife, maybe a line cutter, and actually position it higher on their BCD, so it still fits in that triangle and it's easy to get to. Um, re previous, or in the last couple of years, there's been a lot of developments with line cutters. Uh, I would always recommend a line cutter above a knife because it's far easier and far more compact. Uh, and you can cut through most things with it, whether it's webbing, bungee, paracord, sailing twine. Line cutters are really handy for kayakers as well, because um, especially if you're doing river kayaking, there's always a lot of uh, fishing line that's been left around and you can't break this with your hand. So actually having a line cutter maybe positioned on your buoyancy aid, easy to get to. If you do go to someone's aid, you can actually cut through it and release them, make sure they're actually free to carry on with their journey or whatever they're doing on the water. Uh, if you have any questions, please follow us on Instagram or on Facebook. Uh, why not pop in and have a chat with us? If you're looking at getting a purchase of safety equipment, um, we're here to help and hopefully we can sell you the right thing. Have a good day.